All right, guys, welcome back. Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 1. We have finally reached another season of Game of Thrones. And I have heard from you guys in the comments that Season 4 is meant to be one of the best seasons. So I cannot wait for this show. I'm looking forward to it so, so much. Last episode was insane. So without further ado, let's just get into this. If you're going to enjoy the video, make sure to go down there. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And if you are interested in seeing full reactions to this and all my other reactions, my Patreon will be in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into Game of Thrones Episode 4. We're not starting straight away with the intro. This is different. Again, I wonder if we're going to have it halfway through like we did in one of the episodes last time. Honestly, I love this music now. I've been listening to it non-stop. I, I want to release a cover of this song, to be fair. Maybe that was Rob Stark's sword. And I don't know what that he's going to be making with it. No. Oh my god. They looked like baby direwolves. Jesus, what an opening to the episode. But, seeing as though the intro's now, we can talk about last episode. Last episode ended with, obviously, Daenerys. She gained control of all the slaves in Yunkai, which was incredible to see. Like, she got lifted up by all of them, and now they're all hers. So she has so many men to march on King's Landing now. We also, obviously, had more torture of Theon. We had Jon Snow. He got shot by Ygritte. And then he finally made it back to the wall, so he's back there with Sam now. I'm honestly looking forward to this episode so much. Is that Jamie? Mm -hmm. Jesus! He, uh, I think he looks better with longer hair. There are three living smiths who know how to rework Valyrian steel. The finest of them was in Volantis. He came here to King's Landing at my invitation. Okay! Jamie's got a new sword then. You'll have to train your left hand. Any decent swords. Man knows how to use both hands. Yeah, I'm sure Jamie's good with his left hand as well. You can't serve in the King's Guard with one hand. Where's that written? Yeah, where the hell is that written? For life. The war is over, the King is safe. The King is never safe. How many people in this city alone would love to see his head on a pike? Me. I I, I would definitely like to see his head on a spike. But my answer is still no. I don't want Castle Rock. I don't want a wife. I don't want children. What do you want? Supper would be nice. Yeah, to be fair, I'm sure he hasn't eaten in ages. A one-handed man with no family needs all the help he can get. Excuse me. Sh he has Brienne. Shut up, Tywin. I feel like Jamie's actually going to see how Tyrion is treated now. It's the Prince of Dawn we're waiting for, not one of your sellsword friends. He's so damned important. How come they sent you to meet him? <laughs> Not gonna lie, that is a good point. English diplomat. Oh. Ah. Here we are. Wait, so who are they waiting for? Is this someone we've met before? Or... Forgive me. I don't see Prince Doran in your company. Sends his brother, Prince Oberyn, to attend the royal wedding instead. Oh! Are we finally getting Joffrey and Marjorie's wedding this episode? Yeah, we still need that. And Loras and Cersei's. You're famous for fucking half of Westeros. You just arrived at the capital after two weeks of bad road. Where would you go? I'd probably go to sleep, but I'm getting old. <laughs> no, you're not, Bran. You're young as ever. Sorry, I thought that was Pedro Pascal for a second. Timid. Timid bores me. She's from Kissing Booth too, right? <laughs> And you're a what? A procurer. Hmm. Any of the others? So is he in charge whilst Baelish has run away? Which way do you like it? My way. No, why do I think he's another Joffrey wannabe in the uh, bedroom department? Over in Dance. 
Oh, I actually love this song. I added it to my playlist. If you follow me, I'll arrange for a private room. Why are you wasting a woman like this on a Dornishman? Bring him a shaved goat and a bottle of olive oil. Oh, God. He's not going to like this. He's going to kill you all, mate. No, 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 no. You know why all the world hates a Lannister? Because they kill everyone they meet? Because they're evil? Because they have Joffrey as a king? <laughs> oh, my God. When I pull my blade, your friend starts bleeding quite a lot, I'm afraid. So many veins in the wrist. Why the hell's he doing this? Forgive the intrusion. We heard them, mate. Chubber. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what the hell is going to happen now? So what are you, his hired killer? I started that way, I. Now I'm a knight. How did that come hey. to pass? He killed sa the right people, I suppose. Yeah, he saved the Blackwater battle, didn't he? He killed everyone. You don't partake? Oh, I partook. Now I'm married. And sober, and if I may, a word in private. He's sober now. Okay, that's a Tyrion I never thought I'd say. The last time I was in the capital was many years ago. Another wedding. Whose was My that sister, then? sister, Elia, and Rhaegar Targaryen. Rhaegar Targaryen, that's the one from the uh, stories, right? The... Stannis's daughter was teaching. But what I keep hearing is that Gregor Clegane the mountain raped Elia and split her in half with his great sword. Yes, but we sentenced the mountain. We banished him, didn't we? Tell your father I'm here. And tell him the Lannisters aren't the only ones who pay their debts. Oh God, this this wedding is gonna go about as well as Rob's, isn't it? <laughs> but at least anyone here dying, we don't really care about, except Tyrion. And Braun, I'd be quite sad if he died. There's a few people I'd care if they died. Oh my god, they're proper dragons now. Like, I'm guessing this still isn't full size, but they're massive compared to the end of last season. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. She's the mother of dragons. Dragons, Khaleesi. They could never be tamed. Nah, yeah, they can. I feel like she's definitely going to be riding them by the end of this season. They look big enough to ride now. Oh my god. Look how many people she has. The honour of riding by your side on the road to Marine. That honour goes to Sir Jorah and Sir Barristan, as neither of them kept me waiting this morning. That's not Darian Naharis, is it? Or has he been recast? Or... I hate when shows do that. I'm sure there was a good reason. Maybe the actor wanted to leave or maybe he got fired or something like that for doing something. But it just doesn't like, feel the same as if you have the same impact. You need to eat something. Yeah, I doubt she wants to eat after hearing about her mum, her brother and the rest of like her family except Arya and the two younger boys. Tell her she needs to eat. My lady, you do need to eat. I don't want to eat. Yeah, she's going to despise Tyrion now because it's his family's fault. How can you help me? He's going to kill Joffrey or something like that. He's going to kill Tywin. They sewed his direwolf's head onto his body. Yeah, it was pretty gruesome to be fair. Your mother, on the other hand, I admired her. She wanted to have me executed, but I admired her. You see, Tyrion can say that after Catelyn kidnapped her started this entire war she did and Tyrion can literally just compliment her that shows what heart Tyrion has will you pardon me my lord i'd like to visit the godswood of course of course prayer can be helpful i hear it's the only place i can go where people don't talk to me oh god sansa's broken i don't know what she's actually gonna do she might kill joffrey herself at this rate what are you doing What does it look like I'm doing? Oh god, Shay's jealous. I feel like she's gonna get caught. If you the king wants to murder me, my wife hates me because my father murdered her family. Oberyn Martell wants to murder everyone whose last name is Lannister. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, everyone at King's Landing just wants to kill Tyrion. You have your child's pride now. Shay. Do you love her? Love her? I barely know her. She's a child. She despises me. Yeah, to be fair, we're not into Sansa. Give me diamonds and make me disappear. What in the world are you talking about? If oh, yeah. Tyrion didn't know about that, did he? You want me to stay? 
Well, probably not, because he wants you to be safe. But I don't think he had anything to do with Varus giving her the diamonds. I think that was Varus trying to protect her, maybe. I swear to God, if she goes and tells Joffrey something, I will just kill everyone. More practical. Elegant, I think. Ah, the short hair is growing on me. It, it does look all right, to be fair. I did prefer him with the longer hair, though. You started a brawl in the streets with Ned Stark and disappeared from the capital. My husband died in a tragic hunting accident. Yeah, to be fair, nothing's gone right in her life. You don't really plan on staying in the King's Guard, do you? Of course he does. He has an oath to keep. In the Red Keep, with you. Okay, don't start this again. When? I've been back for weeks. I don't think Cersei's that into it anymore, mate. You come back after all this time with no apologies in one hand and expect everything to be the same. What do you want me to apologize for? For leaving me. You think I wanted to be taken prisoner? No, but you did leave. To start with, you left after you stabbed Ned Stark through the leg. Go away. Come in. Forgive me, Your Grace. No, I swear to God if you mention Tyrion and Shay. I don't know if we even like Igrid anymore. She shot John. Your pretty crows had a thousand men on this thing there. Yeah, well, he's a liar. He is. Shouldn't it be he was? Yeah, exactly. That boy's still walking. It's because you let him go. Yeah, of course she let him go. They, they weren't exactly kill shots, were they? Since he is still alive. Oh, God, he looks scary. You didn't see us coming. Lost your walk. Yeah, that is very true. Jon Snow killed him. I'm not anybody's. <sighs> try it on with Igrid and she'll put an arrow straight through your head. You really ought to try, Crow. Wait! Bro Jesus Christ, they, they, they're eating the dead crows. <laughs> Is John still alive, Sam? Tell me, is he still alive? I was jealous of Rob my whole life. Oh, he's found out about Rob. He's better than me at everything. Clearly not at surviving. Sometimes I want to hit you. <laughs> was that necessary, Sam? They're, um, they're ready for you. He seems pretty alright to say he's... I know it's been about three weeks that Jamie just said. But he still had three arrows in him, right? No. You put your sword through a brother of the Night's Watch. Yeah, but he told him to. The half hand believed our only chance to stop Mance was to get a man inside his army. Don't talk about the half hand as if you knew him. He was my brother. And you'd know he'd do anything to defend the wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, he wanted him on the inside. Nah, I talk like a wildling. I ate with the wildlings. I climbed the wall with the wildlings. Oh god, he was gonna say I lay with a wildling girl. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. No, 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 he broke his vows. The boy must die. If we beheaded every ranger who lay with a girl, the wall would be manned by headless men. Oh my god, okay. You can't get fifty wildlings together before they start killing each other. One hundred thousand. Yeah, he's seen them. Have you ever been beyond the wall, sir? I commanded the city watch of King's Landing, boy. Yeah. No one cares. Must not have been very good at your job. How dare you! Yeah, to be fair, he got sent there because he slaughtered babies. The signal for the attack will be a bonfire. Mance said it would be the greatest fire the North has ever seen. Yeah, he knows all the inside information, but surely they're gonna, like, switch up the tactics now. You intend to execute me? Or am I free to go? None of us are free. Yeah, they're not going to execute Jon Snow. But we won't be taking your head today, Jon Snow. Yay! Jon Snow lives. Of course he does. We're not killing Jon Snow like that. If Jon Snow is to die, let it be in the best way possible. He told the truth. And you always know when a man is telling a lie. Yeah, I'm sure he does. How did you acquire this magical power? I grew up in King's Landing. Yeah, to be fair, if you grow up in King's Landing, you see all the evil kings. I know he didn't get Joffrey, but all the kings before were probably worse. 51st name day. Mm -hmm. the wedding what the- 
<laughs> Elena is so funny. The Marjorie Terrell who walks into the scepter fortnight from now will inspire a thousand songs. Okay, in two weeks, so it's not going to be in this episode. My guess it'll be in the next episode. My word. My lady. Brienne! Brienne of Tarth! My name is Brienne of Tarth. We know who you and are. I... We've heard all about you. But... <laughs> yes! Oh my god, she's actually here. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. I swear to you by all the gods. Oh! She's just told him about the weird ghost baby thing. Joffrey is our king now. I meant no offence. And you've given none. Yeah, Marjorie doesn't like Joffrey. No one likes Joffrey, Brienne. You're going to come to learn that living in the capital. All the king <laughs> Why does he always have a crossbow in his hand? Yes, yes, one guard at the, the thing. Go on. Samaritan. Oh my god, Joffrey does not care at all about anything. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. The war's not won. Yeah, and Joffrey did not win any war. I broke Stannis on the Blackwater. Because you weren't there to help, Uncle. You went and hid in your room, mate. Someone forgot to write down all your great deeds. There's still time. Is there? For a 40-year-old knight with one hand? Oh god, he hasn't done anything with his life, has he? I feel like everyone's going to end up revolting against Joffrey. He needs hitting down. He got hit down a few levels by Tywin when Tywin literally drugged him in the last episode. You were told to ride at the back of the train. Yes, my queen. Oh, I really don't like the fact that they recast him. I'm not saying that this guy's going to be bad. I just don't have the same attachment with the character. It's the same thing as when Johnny Depp was recast in Fantastic Beasts. I, I think that is why Fantastic Beasts got cancelled. You are a gambler, aren't you? What are you trying to say? That he's gambling on you? Wait, why have they stopped? Jesus! Is that a kid? Who the hell would do this? There's one on every mile marker between here and Marine. How many miles are there between here and Marine? 163, Your Grace. You're telling me there's a kid hanging on every cross for 160 miles. That's 160 kids. Remove her collar before you bury her. See... I mean, Daenerys, I know you're really nice, but we don't exactly have time for this. Like, I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but still. Turn the Stark girls to their mother, who is now dead. Yes, come on! Come on! Get Sansa out! The complication. The complication does not release you from a vow. What do you want me to do? Yeah, you have to keep your oath, mate. Where? Where will she be safer than here? Look me in the eye and tell me that you think she'll be safe in King's Landing. <laughs> yeah, no one is safe in King's Landing, Jamie. <laughs> Every Lannister I've seen has been a miserable pain in my ass. Maybe you're a Lannister too. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, what if they are related? I hope they get together. That'd be sick. I love Brienne. No, 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 no. Someone's following her. As long as it's not Joffrey, then surely it will be okay. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Who is it? Oh, okay. It's not a bad man. Uh, Sir Dontos. For the king's name day celebration. I'm I'm sorry, I should have remembered. Oh god, 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 god. Fool. I'm a living fool, thanks to you. Yeah, it's the guy that uh drowned, right? That Joffrey was going to kill, but Sansa saved. It belonged to my mother and her mother before her. Ah, uh, and now you're giving it to Sansa. What the hell's happened here, then? The only thing of value I've got in the world right away. Why don't you have any money? Didn't you steal anything from Joffrey before you left? Yeah, why didn't he steal from Joffrey? I would have stolen from that evil dickhead. Fine with murdering little boys, but thieving is beneath you. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Where would I go? I'd be dead by nightfall without you. My family's gone. I've got no one. That is very true. 
Like the hound did just save her life. After I sell you to her, maybe she'll have enough left over to buy you that pony you want so much. What? No. I'm sorry. Don't give her to the veil. I'd rather her be with the hounds than that ginger little weirdo. His name is Pulliver. He captured us and took us to Harrenhal. Oh my god, yes. Please kill him. Get your revenge. The fuck's a lommy? He was my friend. Pulliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. Yeah, he killed the guy from Outnumbered. Lormy or whatever she just said. The blonde-haired guy. Needle. Before she named your sword. She's going to get it back. He still has it. Get back here. He killed my friend. I don't care if he ate your friend. We're not going in there. Oh, right. You're dead, mate. I'm sorry. Please. Please go kill them. Honestly, please, please go kill them. I know you. Oh, God, she's been recognised. You're the hound. Oh, okay. Okay. The hound's been recognised. Danish defeated at the Blackwater. Rob Stark killed at the twins. And where am I for all of it? Stuck with your brother. <laughs> Meaning no offence. Yeah. He doesn't really like his brother, so he's not going to take offence to it. We haven't seen the mountain since, like, season one, except that small clip at Harrenhal, but that was with a different actor. I want to see the original actor back. Plenty of in between here and King's Landing. You do well for yourself. We certainly have been. I'm not going to King's Landing. Ah, uh, he's going to say, like, F the king again or something. Come on. Fuck the king. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. This is going to go well. I heard that Joffrey's dog had tucked tail and run from the Battle of the Blackwater. I didn't believe it. But here you are. Here I am. Yeah, we don't like the king anymore. I feel like the hound is just going to flip in a second and kill them all. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Come on. Come on, kill them all. Yes, I love seeing the Helm fight. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I feel like Arya's gonna go grab Needle and finish one of them off and save the Hound. Come on, Arya, do something to save him. Okay, I don't think the Hound needs saving at this rate. Oh, Jesus, right in the wrong tables again. Come on. Come on, Aria, save him. Okay, we didn't need Aria to save him. The hound's got it covered all by himself. <laughs> okay, Aria. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're still my favourite character, mate. Yeah, she's got her sword back. Something wrong with your leg, boy. What? What, what do you mean? Oh my god, yes. That's what she said to the blonde guy. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. Oh, he's going to realise, isn't he? Yeah, at least he realised at the last moment that he was a dead man. Come on, Aria. Body count up to five now, okay. Five? Four, maybe? Hey, they got their chicken and Aria got her own horse. She seems so happy to be killing people. I just wanted to meet back up with John. That'd be sick. Hey, we've got the Game of Thrones music in the background. You're telling me that's the end of the episode? I've actually got goosebumps from this music. I think it's sick. Well, guys, that is Season 4, Episode 1 completed. And what an episode. Like, not much happened because it was only the first episode. We don't start getting crazy episodes till, like, Episode 9 and 10, usually. Or usually. Maybe it's all going to change. However, this episode had some great moments between Jamie and just everyone Jamie spoke to. 
Like, he looks so different now, but he still is the same Matt, obviously. He hasn't changed actor, unlike Dario Nahalis. However, oh my god, I just love Jamie's conversations with people. They're always so deep, especially with Brienne. But, no, nah, that battle at the end tops the episode. That's the best thing of the episode. I love Arya and the Hound's connection. And the Hound is protecting her. The Hound is genuinely protecting Arya. And Arya's kind of protecting the Hound. Or, no, not really. She's kind of out for herself. She could have saved the Hound. But he realised what she was saying before, you know. He, she, um, stabby stabby needle. And she's got needle back. Yes, she's got the sword that Jon Snow gave her back. Which I am so happy about. And hopefully now she can kill more people. It will be great. I love Arya. She's my favourite character. We obviously got more of Daenerys as well. And they are on the road to King's Landing. And I cannot wait till they get here. Moving over to the map now. Like, if we look at the map, not many people moved. We obviously had the Hound and Arya. They moved this way a bit because he said they were heading to the Vale. So they moved this way a tiny bit. But as for everyone else, I don't think anyone else actually moved. Jamie and Brienne are still in King's Landing. They got their last episode, so we put them there. These people, they're not in Young K anymore, but this kind of breaches like, yeah, they won't be further than this yet. And yeah, that's literally it. So the only additions that we have to do are these. And obviously Arya's body count. But guys, as I said at the start, that's going to end off the episode. And I hope you're enjoying the new map additions at the end. But I will see you in the next video. If you have enjoyed, like and subscribe and follow my Patreon for full length reactions. See you in the next one.